We can take our custom fields a little bit further if we like by adding in a formula to them. So actually getting the custom field to be a calculation based on other data. For this particular example, we're still going to use the My Bedroom 2014 as our base working file, but I'm going to change the view to the resource sheet and then create a couple of fields in here to show that we're not just restricting ourselves to the tasks. Now, if we want to create a resource custom field, we go to the resource sheet tools format and we'll see there's a custom fields option here. It takes us to exactly the same dialog box as we've been previously, but it's already moved the dot into resource, only because of the route we came in. We could still use this same box to create a task field if we so liked, but I want to create a resource field this time. We're also going to change the data type to a cost data type, so that's a monetary field. And then our first field we're going to use here, cost one, let's rename that to be ink tax. So we're going to create a field that includes the tax. Okay. This time in our attributes, we're going to move the dot to formula. It then warns me that any current data already in that field will be discarded and be replaced with the formula. Well, we don't yet have any data in that field, so that's fine. Okay. We can then click the formula dialog to bring the formula dialog box. And here we simply type our formula. It already starts it off as ink tax equals. So all I need to put in here is the formula that works out the tax. Well, the tax is a numerical value multiplied by the cost. So the first thing I need to find is a field. It's a cost field and it's the cost field. That then places the cost field into my white box. I can use the normal operators for multiplication, which is the asterisk, or I can choose it from my little list here. And we're going to multiply the cost by 1.3. So that takes the cost built into the project for a work resource and multiplies it by 1.3. So adding on 30% to work out the value, including the tax. Now you'll find in this dialog box, all the operators are listed along here. So we've got plus, minus, multiply, divide, ampersand for concatenation, mod for the remainder, slash, little hat for syntax for the power of, open and close brackets, equal, not equal to, less than, more than, and, or, and not. So most of the operators you would want, plus access to all the fields currently in your project, plus access to a myriad of functions that are available, broken down to categories for conversion, date, time, general, math, bags of project functions, and then text functions. So there's everything you would need in here. Whatever you leave in the white dialog box is what it will try to calculate. So my formula is going to work out that the ink tax is equal to the cost multiplied by 1.3. OK, it then gives me pretty much the same warning again about everything already in that field being deleted and replaced with this calculated value. That's fine. I know that. OK. We then have the option for roll up in task and groups. Well, this is a formula to be used really just in the resource sheet, so I don't need to roll it up. And I don't need to roll it down for assignment rows. And I want to actually see the data, not a graphical indicator. So everything is working as I would hope for the ink tax. OK, all I need to do now is see it. So let's add it to our resource sheet. Insert column. Start typing the name of the field, which is ink tax. And then this column appears that works out the cost multiplied by 1.3 to get me the inclusive cost with tax. If I also insert the actual cost field, I can then tell if the calculation is working out. So 120 becomes 156, 375 becomes 48750. That's working out spot on. 6 to 780, that's a little easier to work out in your head. So formula custom fields are really available and only restricted by your requirements. Let's add one more just to demonstrate that we can do a slightly different formula field. And this one's actually going to be a text formula field. Let's rename. And it's going to work out the uppercase, really. So it's going to alter the string contents of the resource name. So I'm going to call it uppercase name. OK, it's going to be a formula field. So I'll get that same box that says, oh, you're going to put a formula in. Everything in there will be deleted. We know that. Thank you. 
And then the formula itself is going to be uppercase name equals. Now there are text functions within here. And we can find the uppercase one there. It's ucase. That places ucase open bracket string close brackets. I need to replace the word string with the actual resource name. So that's under field, text, and name. And then OK. Again, I'm presented with that same warning. That's fine. We know. No roll ups because this is a straightforward text manipulation string. OK. And then we simply insert that new column. Draws uppercase name, and we find we have the names in uppercase. And because I've created that new field, I can use that field in other places, such as on the Gantt chart when you want to customize the label that appears next to the task. So there are plenty of other text manipulation functions within there should you wish to do chopping up of strings. For the moment, we've simply looked at the mechanics of creating that custom field. In this case, we've looked at the mechanics of creating custom fields that include formulas, be they mathematical or string based.